For this first devlog, I want to briefly cover what kind of game I want to make, the progress I've made so far, and the reasons I'm making it for. Starting with what kind of game. I want a snappy, fluid character controller surrounded by complete chaos. I want explosions, screen shake, swarms and swarms of enemies, bosses, objects in the environment that are explodable. It's all been done before, but that's just what I want to make, so that's what I'm going to go for. Basically think Nuclear Throne meets Left 4 Dead meets Among Us. <laughs> As for the progress I've made, I'm recording this two weeks after starting. So far, I have the camera working how I like. It follows the player while being influenced by the mouse cursor as well. In terms of the character, they have an idle. They can move. They can dodge roll. And they can shoot. I have camera shake working as well. I use bits of it for player steps, for rolls, and I use a lot of it for gunfire. I have five levels of shake set up currently and they're toggleable by the player. So if you don't like screen shake, you can turn it off. I got the baseline bullets down and I actually made these by following a tutorial by this other YouTuber named Firebelly Games. Check out this video specifically. I also like the way that the Firebelly guy animated his cursor. So I decided to expand on that and the cursor has an animation for every state now. Uh, there's an idle where it kind of breathes, a shooting animation, a loading animation, and a clip emptied animation. I did this because A, I think it looks super cool, but B, I think all this visual information is really good for the player. The character has an animation for when they're tired as well. So again, more stuff that looks cool, but is also useful. I only have one directional animation for the character, and I plan on doing the same for the enemies. When you run or roll backwards, the animation just plays in reverse, and the sprite just flips. Light works mostly as I want it to, and I'm trying to figure out, do I keep the shadows, and if I do, I'll match the light ball with a more smoother circle, and if I do not, then I'll probably go for the more imitation pixel perfect look. On the topic of being pixel perfect, I initially tried the look because I was hung up about the gun having this perfect rotation, but when I tried it, it just doesn't really come across as I was expecting. And then after going back, I kind of learned to like, and I, I do like the smoothness, especially of the animations that I've done. The placeholder HUD works well. It doesn't look like I want it to look. It just functions as I want it to function, basically. So what I still need to do, I want to switch out the placeholder tiles, because right now they are teal and orange. I want to make a basic enemy that has basic pathfinding. I want to implement player HP, sound effects, maybe a cheeky demo tune, and then figure out and fix the lighting. That will mark the end of this character controller. Get feedback on that, and then start developing ideas for an actual game from there. So for the reasons for doing this, first off, I wanted a personal project, a programming project, but that also involved creativity. And I enjoy making games. I've made tabletop games in the past. I've made a couple RPG hacks for D&D. And then I made my own 54 page tabletop RPG. I just never put it out. It's just, I don't know. I like making all this kind of shit for fun. So I figured, well, I'm going back to school for CS. I might as well mix all this in and make a game. So that's the main reason why I'm doing this. The other reason is I've always wanted to compose music for a game. And so I, I guess this is the way that I'll do that. I'll just make the game myself and I can compose music for it. And the third, the reason I'm making this kind of game, I don't really have an affinity for top-down shooters. Honestly, I haven't even really played much of Nuclear Throne. I just saw what it looked like and I thought that's tight. This is more just me picking something that seems it's like the coolest thing I could make relative to what I can do. So with that being said, I'm going to call it for this one and see you for the next one, maybe in like a week or two.